We're going to discuss diuretics drugs, by, Professor Samanit and Kyrie Hanam. This slide discusses diuretics. A diuretic is any substance that promotes diuresis, the increased production of urine. This flashcard explains through serial number, drug classification, and drugs name under the classification and mechanism. Number 1. Name of the classification, thiazide diuretics, drugs name under this classification, benzothiazines, 1. Hydrochlorothiazide, 2. Benzothiazide, 3. Hydroflumthiazide, 4. Benroflumthiazide, thiazide like, 1. Clothalidone, 2. Metolazin, 3. Xipamide, 4. Indopamide, 5. Clopamide. Mechanism of thiazide diuretics. Medium efficacy diuretics block the reabsorption of sodium, chloride, and water distal convoluted tubule, resulting in the retention of water in the tubule and increasing the level of urine. These agents inhibit the active reabsorption of sodium chloride in the distal convoluted tubule by interfering with sodium chloride co transporter, N, C, C a specific sodium chlorine transport protein, resulting in the net excretion of sodium and an accompanying volume of water. A detailed explanation, these agents increase the excretion of chlorine, sodium, potassium, and, at high doses, bicarbonate. They reduce the excretion of calcium. Thiazids are more effective antihypertensives than loop diuretics except in patients with severely decreased glomerular filtration rate. Number 2. Name of the classification, loop diuretics, drugs name under this classification, 1, mtanide, 2, ethacrinic acid, 3, furosemide, 4, torsemide, mechanism of loop diuretics, high efficacy diuretics are these drugs are the most efficacious of the diuretics, inhibitors of, sodium potassium chloride co-transporter 2, N, K, C, C2 in the ascending limb of Henle's loop. Number 3. Name of the classification. Carbonic anhydrase inhibitors. Drug name under this classification. Acetazolamide. Mechanism of carbonic anhydrase inhibitors, acetazolamide. Weak or adjunctive diuretics it is a carbonic anhydrase inhibitor that inhibits the reabsorption of bicarbonate in the proximal convoluted tubule. Number 4. Name of the classification, potassium sparing diuretics, drugs name under this classification, aldosterone antagonist, 1, spironolactone 2, ipilorenone, inhibitors of renal epithelial sodium channel, 1, triamta in 2, amyloride mechanism of potassium sparing diuretics, weak or adjunctive diuretics, act on the late distal tubule and collecting ducts to block the reabsorption of sodium and reduce the secretion of potassium. A detailed explanation, reduce sodium reabsorption and reduce potassium secretion in the distal part of the nephron, collecting tubule, spironolactone, an aldosterone antagonist, inhibits the aldosterone mediated reabsorption of sodium and secretion of potassium, amyloride and triamta in block sodium channels. These agents can prevent the loss of potassium that occurs with thiazide, or loop diuretics. Number 5. Name of the classification, osmotic diuretics, drugs name under this classification, 1. Manitol, 2. Urea, 3. Isosabide, 4. Glycerol. Mechanism of osmotic diuretics. Osmotic diuretics produce diuresis by increasing the osmotic pressure within the kidney. When osmotic pressure increases, the water is not reabsorbed by the kidney anymore, and it is excreted out of the body, along with sodium and potassium to some extent. A detailed explanation. These agents are easily filtered, poorly reabsorbable solutes that alter the diffusion of water relative to sodium by binding water. As a result, the net reabsorption of sodium is reduced. They are commonly used to reduce intracranial pressure due to trauma and intraocular pressure prior to a surgical procedure. Thank you for your attention. Further information. 
kindly contact profsamiacademy at gmail.com. Disclaimer, this channel does is not promote or encourage any illegal activities. All contents provided by this channel are meant for educational purposes only.